All right, so today I'm going to uh, attempt to repair my uh, garage door panel. If you're watching this video, maybe you've got a panel that looks something like this. You can see I've already uh, attempted a repair, but it still has a lot of flex to it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove this panel and see if we can shore it up a little bit more. All right, so just take a look at your door and you'll be able to see what's holding it. Uh, the panel is being held to the rollers here by something, probably a bracket that looks like this. You also have some uh, hinges that attach the panels together. Uh, you've got that on both the left and the right, and as well as a center hinge. And if you have a garage door opener, you've got to remove that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. In my case, uh, these here are 7 16 and this is a 3 8 that's been replaced before. Okay, now is also a good time to uh, inspect and replace any roller or any other additional hardware that uh, may be worn. Uh, so you might want to take a moment and, and uh, inspect all of that as well. I'm going to continue on here removing this panel. Okay, so I'm just going to tip it back and I've got to slide mine back because it actually has a an extra support piece here. I don't know if you can see it, but basically uh, the hinge is underneath this extra little bracket here. So that's it. I'm going to lay this down and move the camera. All right, so you can tell this isn't good. You can see where I patched it up before, but it still has a lot of flex to it. What I really wanted was a large piece of uh, angle iron coming on the outside here. But uh, you can see there's quite a lip. So uh, what I'm going to do is take a piece of angle iron and uh, put it on the inside as well as a piece of flat um, metal up underneath here. And it's going to be much longer than this. So I'm hoping it's going to add uh, more support. And then I could, I could put this uh, piece here back on the outside. But first thing I'm going to do is remove this top support piece here uh, and this uh, patch that I did before and see if we can straighten it out a little bit. Alright, so you can see it's pretty pretty much mangled right here. No wonder it's it's uh, so weak because it's starting to crack on the outside now. My original thought was to take a piece of, piece of uh, angle iron like this and uh, put it on the outside. Um, I'm just not real sure because of the insulation how I would actually uh, bolt that. Uh, and I don't really want to take the insulation out because I, I do heat my garage. So what I may do is take and run it on the inside like this and then attach it that way. It's uh, nowhere near as rigid, I don't think, doing it this way. But uh, I don't really have a means to uh, attach it on the outside like this. Let me give this some thought. I'm going to start drilling some holes in my angle iron here. Because uh, no matter which way I put it, I'm going to have to have holes in it. So uh, I'm going to start doing that. Okay, so you can see here I've got this piece of flat steel also. And uh, this is going to go up under the lip. And I'm just going to drill the same holes so that they uh, line up with the angle iron. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Drill the rest of these. You can see I basically I've got one there. So if I just want to mark them, I could uh, I could put a bolt through it just to hold it in place, and then I could uh, flip it over and then um, mark it with my drill. Just basically start drilling, and then I can take it apart and drill them. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so not too bad. Uh, looks like I hit the holes for the most part where they need to be. And again, if I need to round one out, uh, you know, like that one might need to round out a little bit just to get the bolt in there. That's what I'll do. But it'll still be nice and tight because I'm going to have uh, 
you know, this on the outside of the door and then this under the lip. So I'll show you how that's gonna work. All right, so here's my thought. What I wanna do, and I may have to uh, bend this lip out a little bit, is I wanna have this flat steel up underneath the lip here, and then I'm gonna have this on the top, and obviously I'm gonna have bolts uh, going down into here with some uh, nuts or some locking nuts or maybe some uh, nuts with some lock washers or something. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the top holes drilled in the top side of my door here. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize one of the holes that I had previously uh, drilled for that patch that I made. Um, and then I'm just going to put a, a bolt through it. That will kind of keep uh, keep this where I want it. And now I'm just going to hold it flat and drill holes uh, in the top where the where the other holes are that I drilled. So, So you can see how this is going to take shape. That's going to uh, lay on the face here on the on the top uh, lip, and then this is going to be underneath. So I'm hoping that that's just going to add a little bit more uh, um, rigidness to this. So let's uh, see how it's going to work out. See if it's going to line up. All right. Up. So the tricky part here, I'm just going to try not to tear this insulation all apart, but I'm just going to try to get this flat piece in here, and then I've got to line it up with the holes. And we'll just get one of the end pieces started here. All right, so you can see I have it all tightened down here and I have the uh, the flat piece of steel underneath. I've got the angle iron out here and, and this is where the, uh, the tear is. Let's uh, go ahead and check out the flex. I'm gonna lift it way back here. So that definitely seems a bit more solid. Uh, than what it was before. I'm gonna go ahead and keep uh, mounting the rest of the hardware. All right, so this is where it'd be helpful again to have a helper, uh, which I don't have. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of push the door down. And step on it. And what you don't wanna do is drop it on the outside. Okay, I'm just gonna lock, lock these together. These are like a puzzle piece. I don't know if you realize that, but they're kind of locked together. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, continue mounting all this hardware, and uh, then we'll hook it up and give it a test run, see how it works. I can already tell uh, that that is sitting more flush, um, or not really flush, but it's more parallel to the wall. So uh, when I put my outside weather seal on, or my weather stripping, it's going to hopefully make a better seal. That's kind of why I decided to do this uh, right now, because I'm going to be working on that maybe tomorrow. So uh, I'll post a video on how to do that as well. Let me finish this up and we'll give it a test run. Alright, so I'm actually going to test it out by hand first, that way if it does bind up or anything, you know, I'll have a chance to correct that so the motor doesn't basically rip our hard work all apart. Um, the other thing you might want to do is where we did add some weight to the door, you might want to adjust your uh, spring tension just a little bit. Uh, it's, it's probably not enough to make a difference. And I'm actually going to insulate these with the uh, Owens Corning insulation anyways. So uh, after I do that, um, after adding that weight to the door, I'll adjust my springs. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. That's it. All right, hopefully this video has been helpful. Um, you know, I guess the, the lesson learned here is 
don't have too much downforce on your garage door opener. Uh, and also don't close it on anything. I actually closed it uh, on a vehicle. The spare tire was actually um, sitting in the path of the door and it closed down on it and crunched this. And then it's just gotten progressively worse even with that little patch I had. So I think this is a pretty good fix. I know there are probably other ways to do it. Uh, go ahead and leave questions in the comments below or suggestions on how this could have been better. Uh, hopefully uh, this will help you if you're in the same situation. And uh, thanks for watching.